It's been three weeks since our last episode, and I miss you guys. There's a thousand reasons for delay and update, but there's only one reason to bring it out to the light. They would kill me if I delay this any longer. So, this episode we're gonna be focused on the JF-17's data link and the missile warning system. I know you guys are getting anxious, so let's get started. The only way to access the data link is through the channel 199 on the COM2. Hit the UFC COM2, dial 199 and enter data link menu. Slave means I'm the little brother, Mast means the big brother. With the AI aircraft, you and only you can be the big brother. Hit NE to change to NE+, and when you connect it, it will change to NES. The data link info will be displayed on HSD once you have connected to network. The green circle means the friendly, and inside the green circle is the aircraft number. Everybody has a unique number, his altitude is on the side. The underscore means we have him on the data link only, but not on the radar yet. Those are showgirl number one. Because of the complexity of the mission, I'm gonna take him over here and I send him back to the base for his marriage. Now let's use the COM1 to give him that order. Enter the preset TINCOM frequency on the channel 029. Call up the menu, tell him to RTB. Flight, RTB. All right, after sending off our dead weight, let's talk about the information on the, on the HSD. Those two wine lines are the range of a radar scope. Here's master interceptor mode. Be aware of the radar azimuth angle will change as we select a different setting on the radar. The red dash lines is the range for SD-10 missile. Track bottom used to display our flight plane. We can take it off from the screen or switch back on. Map is map, RGS declutter, FRD is a friendly aircraft, AEW is for display the target from the AWACS, unknown is for the unidentified target, open and patty are from RWR to distinguish different number of high threat level target, ground is the ground target, EVP is the radar range scope for missile envelope. Altitude is for target altitude info on the data link. Now let's get into the C-Link menu. ID is your ID on the data link. Mass is to create the data link as host. Slave means you are slave to the host. Net is to enter or access switch. Channel ID is the name tag of your team. Hit it and enter five digits to create or enter the host. Group is for display aircraft info in the same host. Individual assigned number is here below the TN. Asterisk symbol means host. Flight and the roll are preset formation lead and wingman from mission editor. I don't think I need to talk over about this. On the bottom of the right MFD, we have a share target information from a data link. Now let's we'll silence the radar and use only the data link from this point. Pause the sim. The red triangle is the hostile symbol. His number. And an underscore means he's not been detected by a radar yet. And there's his altitude. Right beneath it is the detail of the targets their IDs, their angle off, the range, the closure rate, and altitude deviations. And at the same time, we can see the enemy radar information on HSD. Yellow square means we've been scanned by the enemy radar. Lethal or high threat will be on a center ring with a cross. Low threat target will be on the outer ring and this is the type of aircraft they are scanning for us. The F-16 is a lethal or high threat target here on the center ring. The yellow box will turn to red when he starts tracking on us and a box will start to flash when the missile is launching from the threat. 
The RWR has about 10 degrees of arrow when sensing the threat. Now, let me show you guys a big toy. Take a look at the pod with the yellow stripe on my belly. That's KG600. As you might already know, anything with a flamboy color in the nature world means don't you dare come close. KG600 is able to jam and pinpoint location and source great radiation at the same time. And this will be your dream pot to carry. That's how you win the fight. Alright, that's enough for the advertisement. Let's get back to reality. Hit SPJ on the APP, turn on the KG600. After a certain time period, KG600 will be able to measure the distance between you and the radiation source. Two things you need to consider on this. BME coming from the KG600 is a slant range, means the altitude plays a big factor in, in here. Higher the altitude deviation, greater the error. Other things is the accuracy of the sensor. Although we'll be trying to pinpoint the radiation source, the accuracy problem still remains. After a couple seconds, 600 has pinpoint the location source. Let's get into the combat page. Otas T2 switch forward, music on. Be aware of the alert and the red symbol on the MFD. The Mirage has a radar tracking on us now. Tracking, 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 tracking. The contrail on upper left corner should be him. Tracking, 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 tracking. There's a beeping sound with the flashing RWR symbol. Tracking, tracking, the flashing missile launch symbol on the hood. Missiles in the air and coming straight for us. All right, let's turn and burn. Engage the Mirage with my six o'clock. Tracking, tracking, missile, 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 missile. Pause. Now, since the Mirage can only carry semi-radar and heat-seeking missiles, the M symbol here is the missile that has been detected by the missile approach warning system. The MOS can detect the 5,000 meters on the back of the plane. It cannot measure the distance on the missile, so warning symbol will always be on the lethal ring. There's an arrow symbol on the missile mark for the relative altitude for the incoming missile. If it doesn't show the arrow, it means the, the missile is at the same altitude as you are, with a plus or minus 100 meters. Arrow point upwards missile, means the missile, missile is above missile, us. Missile, 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 Don't worry missile. about it. Tracking, they can kill the king. Alright, I'm not submissive tracking, and nobody wants tracking, to get hit by the AI, tracking, so tracking, I'm just here for the tracking, demonstration. Tracking. Tracking, the advantage of having tracking, the MOS is tracking, you can trust the system tracking, and leave your tracking, 6 o'clock to it. Tracking, Let it take care for you so tracking, you don't have to worry tracking, about when the enemy is tracking, launching a sneak attack on you. Tracking, 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 tracking. Look at it. Missile, missile, I missile, love modern missile, technology. Missile, 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 MOS can also provide the directional information on incoming missile. But in a close range, the RWR info and the data link info might overlap each other. This will cause the trouble for the pilots trying to read missile, the threat missile, information. Missile, tracking, 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 missile, 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 tracking, 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 tracking. The Mirage just ran up its missile. Now, let's take a look how the system reacts to the Amram missile. Let's turn to the F-16. He's carrying the M-120C. There's the missile mark on the screen. The RWR will detect not just the range, but also the type of the missile. Be aware, when RWR and the MOS both had an incoming missile tracked, the RWR will have a priorities on display. That's all for this episode, folks. Uh, missile, missiles in the air. Missile, Thunder 2 1 defending. Missile, 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 mi track. Please leave a comment and tell us what you want to see next episode. Missile, I'll see missile, you around. Missile, 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 missile.